Good morning. Valentine's Day to everybody. Hope you all have had a fantastic start to your Thursday. Looks like my internet's catching up with me. It was having a little issue there. I will have a little chat about Valentine's Day and what you guys are doing. Have you finished up your morning routine? Today I had a whole lot of phone calls getting me started on my video and it looks like it's having some problems um, with the upload speed. So let me know if you're here, how it is on your day. We're going to wash the bathroom rugs, we'll wipe down the washer and the dryer, and then we're going to toss some paper and magazines. All of these are quick me, make it fun, taking care of your home. And I'll give you a little tip on how I deal with my bathroom rugs. I really don't use bathroom rugs. Um, we keep towels that are older and we use those on the bathroom floor because it's tile gets slick really easily and we lay those out for bath time and about once a week I'll just uh, take them pull them up and wash them so um, I don't really use rugs because what I found in the past especially with children is if you keep those nice cushy bathroom rugs um, at your bathtub or near the sink little kids get them soaked and then they grow bacteria, they grow um, mold, they just get real yucky. And I just decided it was easier for me to use a couple of old towels at the bathtub and the sink for us and then just wash them once a week. So whenever we're done with bath time in the evening, hang them up over the shower door, they dry, next day I put them back out when we're ready uh, for bath time again. So that's just become a habit that I've gotten into over the years because I got tired of the moldy, mildewy bathroom rugs and I just didn't like dealing with those. So I don't know what you guys are using in your bathrooms, but um, zone mission today is to wash the rug or whatever you got in there. Hi Lori, she says no rugs in their bathrooms either. Um, you know, they look pretty guys. If I had a nice bathroom that was just used a little bit by guests that didn't have a lot of traffic from my children, I would probably have a pretty rug in there, but we just don't have that. We um, have quite a bit of traffic through both of the bathrooms downstairs, so just not worth the bathroom rug in my opinion. So that one's up to you. The other part of your mission today is to wipe your washer and your dryer. And for me, the washer needs the wiping more often because of, you know, kids helping do laundry. They splash a little bit with fabric softener, that kind of stuff. Um, my dryer... We are very diligent on cleaning our lint filter, and every three months we clean the dryer lint um, return. So if that's something you haven't done in a while, put that on your project list to do. Um, if you don't have snow on the ground. If you got snow on the ground, not so much fun. But keeping that dryer lint um, vent clear of lint and um, big things really helps your power bill, helps your clothes dry faster, reduces the risk of fire. And we don't always think about cleaning that dryer lint um, through the whole return. You know, we take care of that filter, we look down in the little hole, and it's like, okay, we're good. But, you know, remember that it's got a big suction and it's pulling a lot of small, fine stuff through that piles up through that return because, you know, it's moist. It's pulling moist air out and um, sending it through that vent. So there is your couple of little zone missions today. I know that it's not been a real detailed week with a lot of big stuff. So hopefully you've been hanging in there and gotten things done. We are decluttering paper and magazines today for a home blessing. And I'm going to be working on tax returns this afternoon. And I plan on hitting that shredder with things that I've held on to that I don't really need. So um, I've just got to make sure I've got all the receipts I do need, keep those ones I don't need, they're going to go through that shredder this afternoon. So I have a plan. How about you guys? How have you got your afternoon planned out for decluttering, zone missions, what's for dinner, all those little fun things that creep up on us. We've got chicken and salad on the menu plan, so I need to make sure I know what we're doing with our chicken, how I'm going to season it, and um, the rest of it will be fresh vegetables and something that I cook on the side, whether it's potatoes or rice for the boys. You know, some kind of carb to fill those hungry boys up. Let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day. We are not doing date night tonight because our experience has been that it's just not a fun night to go out and have to wait on a restaurant table. 
there's just so many people that go out to eat for Valentine's Day, it's easier for us just to, to push it to the weekend and have our Valentine meal over the weekend for date night. So no big Valentine uh, dinner out for me tonight, and I'm really good with that because in our early years, we realized it just wasn't a whole lot of fun to go out and have to wait a long time for a table and food. And we just celebrate and love our family, enjoy having time together as a family for a meal tonight, and then we'll have date night for the weekend. So, hope the internet connection got better, guys. It looked like it quit giving me messages. First part of this video might be a little bit rough, but we got her done. Happy Valentine's Day. Enjoy your Thursday. I should be here in the morning with you guys for a little bit to get you started on your day. And hopefully it'll be a little bit early. My phone calls started really, really early this morning, um, like 7 o'clock. And so I just didn't get a chance to hop on here until I got all of those uh, follow-ups taken care of and people's calls returned. Lori says she got flooring instead of flowers delivered this morning. That's awesome. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my Facebook post from two days ago, but I got tires on my car for Valentine's Day. It was something that was very much needed, and I very much appreciate my husband thinking it through and getting it taken care of, and I didn't have to do anything. Just told him about a month ago that we needed to really start um, looking at tires and hoping to hold out till the tax return money came, but oh well. We needed them before that got here, and he took care of it for my Valentine's Day. And I got him some things that he's been wanting, and even I bought him some chocolate this year. So, he got the, the candy heart chocolate this year, and I got tires. So, there you go. Angie says, spaghetti salad, um, bread and cake. Oh, that sounds good. We had spaghetti last week. That's one of the boys' um, favorite carbs. They like to have spaghetti and pile it up with different stuff. Enjoy your day, guys. See you tomorrow.